technical let's play my name is MCSH and I'm here with you for another episode to try and make techy things in Minecraft so that's my home I have traveled like 7,000 blocks just to find one of these just to find a cacti you cannot believe the distance I have traveled I have seen everything I've seen multiple uh, meteors I've seen multiple biomes and I have traveled to many different seas just to get this cactus which we finally have and I suppose I can gather a little bit more and then go back to the base to start building our first robot so I'll gather a little bit more cacti and then I'll see you there so I'm on my way back and I found another village roughly about 2,000 kilometers 2,000 meters um, east of our base and let's see what these guys have I see a railcraft building which is interesting hello Mr. Cartman you have tracks, I like that. You have chest guard, coal, and iron paper. Thank you for your services. Alright, guys, I am almost home and I'm being followed by a series of mobs. And you can see that I have quite work on our house. This is now finished, I think. It's not exactly beautiful, but yeah, it's less of an eyesore than it was. I also created another portal and went in just to get enough quartz to um, progress in this episode and I have been mining a lot let me show you my goodies chest I have been mining a lot just look at all this iron and all this gold and redstone and even those diamonds I even created a diamond pickaxe because why not? Well, actually, because I needed to create the portal and a little bit extra for later usage. But yeah, that's it. So, in this episode, I want to finally start create a lab for myself. That's what these four knives are burning at the moment. They're burning cobblestone to stone so that we can create a lab in which we are going to test different things with computer uh, I'm sorry open computers and I think this is a good spot for a lab all right guys so I built a little bit of something it's not the most beautiful thing in the world but um, yeah it's function this could work you know we have a cozy little house that we can live inside and how our robots do things that we want to test anyway before we can start with open computers we need to create an old doubling system because as of right now we can smelt this iron ore and this gold ore and we would have 19 gold ignants and 38 iron ingots uh, plus two stacks but if we set up ore doubling which is first we convert our iron into iron dust and then we would smelt the iron dust into iron ingots you would get almost twice amount of ores so in order to do that there are two different machines that we can create one of them is a sag mill and uh, this is how you create one. You need a simple machine casing, which is which needs grains of infinity, plus a lot of iron, which could work, but is a little bit expensive at this point. Another thing is a quartz grindstone. Now, this is too cheap almost. Uh, it needs a couple of cobblestones with uh, three quartz of any kind and some wood. So we can go ahead and create that right now. 
I have my trick cords and um, here's some stone you can have all the wood you want and here we have enough cobblestone for that so we create the wooden gear and then everything completed so this is our quartz grindstone um, I think we also need something to go on top of it I'm not sure what but let's give it a try so we put somewhere inside and um, what mod pack is this? Iron dust. This is applied energetics. Applied energetics. And I think it's called a crowbar or something. A bar? No. Mm, oh, a wooden crank. Right. So we need to create a wooden crank, which is easy enough. We have lots of wood. Um, like this and now I can do this and this will slowly turn our iron ore into iron dust so let's see yeah here we have two already then we can smelt this and you see we had um, 18 iron here as of now we have 17 so one uh, iron ore became two iron dust which is two iron ingots that's a win great so um, next thing we need to create is oh my god next thing we need to create is a open computers assembler uh, electronic assembler this thing right here um, I'm gonna prepare the iron it needs and all of these and I'll come back to you alright guys so I have been grinding and grinding and grinding again just to gather enough material to build our first actually somewhat OP robot and uh, you will not believe the the diamond that I had. It was not enough. It was not enough. I cannot believe it. I had to go and mine again and again and again just to get enough material for that. But now, so this is our electronic assembler. This is the core component that allows us to create computer uh, I'm sorry robots and drones and basically this is what we have so we have a, a computer case of tier 3 which has a, a memory card of tier 2.5 I think that's 4 megabytes of RAM or something like that um, we have a CPU tier 3 we have a hard disk, of, uh, we have a 4 megabyte hard disk and uh, we have a tier 1 screen we have a keyboard and uh, we have a graphic card what else do we have? I think I need um, the Lua disk this one which is not that tricky I think I have enough I'm going to create it right away. Let's just cook around back here. So, what do I need? Redstone torch. Do I have a stick? I don't think so. Um, and so that's something I have all of it. My inventory. So, redstone torch. And one extra gold nugget. Um, this is an empty -E -E but we need this one. 
Okay, I think I have a manual here. We can create a, another manual later. This should give us a Lua EEP ROM, which means it allows our bias to boot Lua, which is what we want. And I think we also need an open OS book, this one. So we need a, some more iron. And let's see. So that and a floppy disk, which requires me to have a lever. Okay. A disk. That can be done and I run out of iron again tell you what I'll come back in a second all right I think I now have everything so we have our um, EEP ROM we have our open OS block of disk we also have a disk drive Um, so that we can inject our floppy here instead and what else what else so this is the manual this is for robots this is for robots and upgrade container card container I think I had an inventory upgrade somewhere didn't I oh I did not craft this and I need one of these as well. Oh my god, this is taking too long. So, it's okay. It's okay. The payoff is going to be huge. So, we have wood, we have a chest, we need a dropper, which is easy to create. Um, we need a hopper, which needs more iron. This is not enough. Okay, we can create a little bit of iron like that. Two, I'll take it. Let's see, let's see. So we are going through all this trouble to create a robot. This robot it has a complete Unix operating system which can run basically any program that you want to. And I'm gonna write quite a bunch of different uh, Lua programs. Let me just create all the chests in the world because, man. Okay, we need a hopper. We need some piston, which needs iron. Oh my god. Okay, it's okay. We can do it. We need more. Great. Here's more wood for you. A piston. A dropper. Yes, our inventory upgrade. We also need an inventory controller upgrade, which means another piston. Done. An analyzer, which is easy. And a dropper. Okay, this is the analyzer. And right. I think I'm gonna create an extra analyzer for myself because they are handy. Right. This should be all. Let's just quickly assemble the computer and then we can disassemble it and run our robot. So, um, like that. Yeah. And these are the excess material that I crafted. So let's see if the analyzer says everything is okay. And component computer address is this and it doesn't have any energy i think it's okay not enough energy 
I don't think we have any energy mode in this pack. Do we? We have applied energistics. But that doesn't have any generator. Hmm. Uh, tell you what, is there an option to disable? No, it's not here. Of course not. I have to restart my game and either add an energy source or disable energies for open computers, which I think I'm gonna disable energies for open computer at this state because let's be honest, uh, we don't have any good generator, do we? These are facade the sterling generators in, in their I.O. Okay. Combustion generator. In their generator. Franken Lumbi generator. Okay, this turns fuel. So, what do you need? You need a piston? Done. We need a duck by Metal Gear. Uh, hmm. What should I do? Should I add a energy pack to this game? Or should I disable energies in open computers? I think both, actually, because we need energy for quite a lot of different things and the pack that we have created does not have any good generator inside of it I mean Android is good but this version requires a lot of effort to just get the basic blocks and uh, yeah see now I kind of regret adding Ender IO but it's okay. So I think that's all a slippery click and then I'll come back to you. Alright guys, welcome back. So I decided to add a few mods to the pack. So as of now we have RF tools, RF tool controllers and RF tools power added to the pack, which is which is actually going to make our job a little bit harder, but I'm up for a challenge. So Let's see. So I think our tool adds a coal generator, which is quite good and it's not hard to create. And besides that, it has a lot of different things you can build. For example, I think we have solar powers. No? Panels? Okay. I was wrong. Uh, we have projectors, we have scanners, I think we have metal receiver and transmitter, you can teleport using these, and yeah, there are a lot of different items, which is going to be fun, but uh, to progress here we need a coal generator, so let's go ahead and craft one of those, we need six coal which is easy here and we also need two redstone torches which is fine there we have our generator so now we can plug this i'm gonna put it here Red board. Um, okay, if you can read the Vela up here, it says we are producing 16 RF per tick, which is okay. Analyzer, where is my analyzer? It does not getting any, it's not getting any energy. Okay, what if I move you here? Do we need an energy acceptor for this?
Okay, we have energy. So why are you not turning on? Yes, it is. Wait. So this is our open OS, which is awesome. But I'm gonna turn you off and break everything because these are supposed to go into our robots. Right here. Um, let's see if I can pick up the case. Okay. So we put the case into the assembler and then we add a stuff one by one. So we want a inventory upgrade control, we want a, a screen. We have a keyboard, we have a graphic card, memory, hard disk, CPU, what else? And we want a disk drive, we want our ROM loader, we want the upgrade container, we want the card container, we want, we want the inventory upgrade, what else? What else do we want? Do we want a... Uh, what other upgrades are there? Open computers. So we don't want an angel upgrade. The battery upgrade might be a good idea. So... It's a capacitor. Which is fine. We can, we can craft that many capacitors. And uh, iron nuggets and diamond chip. Okay. Let's craft that. So, um, the capacitor one. Oh, okay. I need more gold. Do I have any more gold? I do not have any more gold. Okay, I'll I'll gather some resources and I'll come back to you. All right, guys. I finally finished crafting this bad boy and look how much my farms have grown since then this takes a lot of time this machine better works to pay back for my time so anyway um let's add you here and we have a open os operating system we have i think we have everything we need so let's double check we do have an inventory controller upgrade. We have an inventory upgrade. Uh, open computers. So what else is there? Do we need a computer case? We have all of those. And geolizer. All of the scanning the surrounding areas block hardness. This information can be split. okay. Um, we don't have two in the eyes. For that, we can always add, add it later. Disk drive, disassembler, charger. Okay, we need to craft one of those. 3D printer, RAID. Screen tier 1, we have one of those. Computer case, we have. Alright, I'm just gonna ensure that we have everything. It might not be a bad idea to add a network thingy I'm not sure what the thing is so that we can uh, access the machine remotely uh, what is it, the name we have mem do we need an extra memory I think we can create an extra tier three and a half memory we do have our graphic card. What is a data card? Um, elliptic curve cryptography. I don't think we need any of those. Okay. So graphic card we have. Internet card. HTTP request using real TCP sockets. Okay. And network card. These might be a good idea. I don't want a redstone car. Wireless never car. A 
okay so we need a wireless okay i'm gonna write this down we need a wireless network card and a internet card i think it was then chunk loader might not be a bad idea like so we can't do that okay um actually we do have one under eye we just need a blaze powder okay a crafting upgrade no we don't need a crafting upgrade hover upgrade no experience upgrade database upgrade what does that do a certain item stack information for us um depends this is really expensive Leash upgrade that does not work on robots. Matthew. No navigation upgrade. Can we craft this? An uncraftable potion. Okay, so we cannot craft that. Piston upgrade that. Um, that's relatively cheap, so I'll just add it. If you sign upgrade, sign upgrade. No. Well, we could we could do that. Solar generator. No, don't don't need that. And a tractor beam. Okay. How expensive is that? Um, quite expensive. That's okay. Training up where we don't need that wireless card. Okay. So, um, we want a wireless card, which goes to this slot over here. We also want an internet card, which also goes to this slot. So we want one of them, both of them. The chunk loader, maybe. I'm not quite sure. Piston upgrade. Okay, we definitely want a piston upgrade. We definitely want a sign upgrade. And uh, tractor beam as well. We could also add a solar generator just in case. How much does that cost? What is lazuli? Okay. So the reason that I'm taking too long to craft this robot is because basically um, once you craft a robot you cannot uncraft it, you cannot upgrade it except for adding only two cards which uh, or maybe yeah adding two cards and one of them is a tier 3 the other could be a tier 2. We already have these two and uh, so this gives us slots in the robot UI that we can add any of these upgrades to but other than that we cannot add anything so we may want to craft the best thing we, we can which uh, I'll work on it and I'll come back to you all right guys I think it should all be done now I have crafted almost everything so we have a wireless card and we have a sign upgrade as well as a piston oh my god we have reached the complexity limit um <laughs> okay um okay i'll take you out for now i think this should be enough we can later insert this into the uh, oh wow we can later insert this here if we want to and oh yeah you need energy don't you right here of all the energy you want so it's gonna take about six minutes and I'll see you then Alright guys, 
I think our little robot is finally ready because this device started charging up. And yeah, let's see. Shaky! So, our little robot Shaky. It's getting charged. It's currently at 49%. And it is not ready anymore. Okay. So, um, let's install. I think, yeah, it does not have any operating system as of now. So, we insert a Lua open OS floppy disk and then we turn it on. And as of now, it is reading from this open OS disk and it is not actually um, running from its own hard disk. So we don't want to um, fill this slot with a floppy, so I'm going to install the OS on its disk. Yes. And you can see that it is uh, just like a real computer. It has mounted the hard disk on the slash MMT and it's just copying necessary files on it. These are all the commands that we have available to us. We have move, edit, unmount, label, flash, I think MKD. Okay, reboot now. No. I'm gonna take the phone out first. I'll turn you off and turn you on again. So, this is interesting. We have our first robots available to us. And. These are the commands that we have installed. I think we should have less. Yes. So we have address, alias, cat, cd, clear, components, copy, date, different, uh, sorry, disk full, d message, disk usage, echo, edit, find, flash, free, and a lot of different utilities. What you're interested in is the edit command, which allows us to write two files and I how to equate um, okay how do I quit and they say Vim is hard to exit um control S right control T control C control X I'm not sure uh, let's just Turn it off and again. Just out of curiosity, edit on um, any info on how I can exit. No? Um, it is getting dark outside. I think. We have man here, so edit test two. Oh, it's control W. This is a test control W. So uh, we didn't save the test two file. This was the first file. And then there's also a Lua interface, which allows us to do some crazy things. Uh, but, my friends, I think we are way out of time for this episode. I will see you again the next time where we will use this OP device. We will use our Shaky in order to um, you, uh, in order to automate things in our base. So. Until then, 